And you go speed. All right. Is it safe to say that you're still a little bit in awe of all this stardom business and things that go on with it? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's also um, that sort of status, for lack of a better word, is something created uh, not by me. Do you know? So um, I deal with it based on that philosophy. It wasn't something that I was uh, in search of in pursuing um, acting, you know, so. Kind of has a life of its own, doesn't it? I mean, all the press and all the pictures and all the people looking at you and taking your picture and autographs and all that. Mm -hmm. It actually has very little to do with me in a funny way. How have you changed? Now, last time I saw you was after Steel Magnolias, and uh, I found you to be a little quiet, and maybe a little shy then. Mm -hmm. uh, have you changed any since all this, you know, success? I know you certainly must feel a lot more confident. Um, certain certain things have changed me as a as a person. My personality hasn't really changed that much. I mean, I think I, I'm smarter now. I've learned more. Uh, I understand things better. Maybe I'm more patient. Um, but I haven't really changed. Does it make you feel good though to have that success as far as the confidence level that you're accepted and you're not that worried, you know, about whether or not people like you anymore? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice, uh, assurance that, that what you're doing is, is, uh, for more than just yourself, you know, that it's being accepted by people, um, not only, uh, just audience members, but also people that, that are in the business that, that I respect and admire. So that's kind of a really wonderful um, confirmation of what you do. Did you take these two dramas, the one that we haven't seen yet and Sleeping With Enemy that we have, on purpose to not really put you in a comedic category that you, yeah. it just worked out that way? I, I have no strategy whatsoever to doing comedy and drama and switching them or, you know, um, at all. Just kind of do what comes to me at that moment that I want to do, that's what it is. If it's a comedy, then that's what I'll do. And if it happens to be a drama, then that's what I'll do. This movie had some scenes that I know had to be extremely tough for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. They were so emotional and so intense. Uh, do you carry those home with you at night? Do you ever kind of feel like, you know, oh, I wish I could get rid of this lady today? Well, but but you can. I mean, that's... That's acting, it, I know. Yeah, but Exactly. But sometimes it just gets a bit much when you're doing four or five days of this lady who's, you know really in an emotional scene. Well, but you have to understand a perspective of, of when it's work and when it's not. And um, it's all an illusion, you know. So, no, I, you know, I do, I do the best I can to, uh, to divorce the two, you know. A lot of ladies in Hollywood complain about the lack of choices that they have mm -hmm. of really good meaty roles, and you certainly have uh, had some wonderful choices between Steel Magnolias and Sleeping With Enemy and, and his other films. Do you find that to be true? That you, uh, I've been quite fortunate in that, uh, in that all the movies I've done, obviously I've accepted them because I, I wanted to play this part. Mm -hmm. And um, there's never been a time when I was without work that I wasn't comfortable with that. So, Congratulations on the Golden Globe. I know that felt good. Thank you. Yeah, it did. Hey, uh, what is your philosophy on awards? Um, it's what we were talking about before. I mean, it's... it's uh, it's people that, it's, you know, it's the foreign press saying, you know, thank you. We, we appreciated what you did. Um, and that's kind of really great, you know. Well, I appreciate what you did, too. Thank you. Thanks. I actually paid my own money <laughs> instead of one of these junkets. <clears throat>